Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach about the account balance checking using ASP.NET MVC uh, using Ajax. So here you can see the program. If I run the program, you will be able to see here. This is simple, right? Now here I am going to enter the relevant account holder ID. Relevant balance should be account holder name and balance should be displayed. If I enter the second here, Peter, you can the relevant balance should be displayed. If I, this is the, I am going to enter three. What happen? You will be see arrow. Okay, so how to do the arrow task? Okay, so the how to do this program? Step by step, we'll see. Right. So first, what I am going to do is first I am going to stop this project. I am going to open the new project. So I am going to first start with the Visual Studio. I have installed the Visual Studio 2013. You, you, you can install the latest version, no problem. So I just go to the file, new project, C sharp, uh, ASP.NET web application, account balance. It, it's OK button. MBC, OK. You have to wait until the project has been created. Now your project has been created successfully here. This is the solution. This is your project. This is the, your project folders, right? So first go to the file. Sorry. First what I'm going to do here is first this is the model. Okay, this is the model. First, what I am going to do is this is the database. Okay, so now I am going to get into this model. Okay, you can see here this is a model view controller. This is the MVC meaning of this is a model after that you have uh, generate the controller after that you have generated the views. Okay, right. The model will be the database, it will be communicate with the controller. Controller will be get the request data and pass into the view. Okay, so this is how the model view controller works. First, simple stuff, you have to load the model. First, you have to create the database. You just go to the, I, I hope you, how to create a new database, you just click new, you can create the database bank. Inside database, you have to create the tables, okay? This is the table structure. For design, here, yeah. account number, this is a VAR chart. Okay, account number, I will be manually entering, not auto entry monitor. So, uh, account number will be consist of string and in, uh, number, so that, I will be uh, data type I have changed it as a watcher. Right? Account number, uh, account order name, and balance. Balance should be int. Okay, right. You have to learn these things. This very must. Right. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, my switch back to my project. I'm going to models, right click, add new item, data, edit entity data model, click add button, generate from the database. Yeah. Next. I am going to create the new connection. This must server dot me the local host, the local machine dot. Okay, if you have a servers, you will be at the name of the server. Okay, local machine mean uh, local mean this is the your what is the name of your machine? You can enter. That. Okay, so this is the local machine. So if you have press a dot, it automatically took the name as your local machine. Okay, so this one also your author uh, SQL authentication mean when you install the while when you install the SQL server. 2012 latest version. Uh, while you installing, what's the password and username you are given? You have to specify here. Okay, specify here. Okay. Okay. So I have given the username as Shah. Let's say password I have given while installing. One, two, three. That's it. Now here, select the database. Your database is drop down. You have to check the check your database. My I have created the database a bank. Okay. You have to click test connection. If the connection is succeed or not, you have to check them. If it succeed, your connection will be success. Click OK. Right. After that, you have to click on this yes, include the sensitive data create connection. You have to enable this option. Next. Click this table. This is a table. Okay, this is all the data we need. Hit finish button. Now you can see here your model has been created. Okay, you have to wait until the model has been created. Now it's created successfully here. Yeah? Right. Now what I'm going to do is 
Yeah, go to webconfig. You can see here your configure file. This is your one webconfig. You can see here bank entities. This is the, all the connection should be there in the bank entities database. Okay, this is the database. Okay, okay, this is the connection string. This is very important stuff. Connection string. Okay, this is the connection string is inside the file which is a web.config file. Right now, what I'm going to do here is uh, go to the controller. This is a home controller. Home controller, what does is and call on home control index method mean it goes to the views, it's look at the way of the index method. Home control is so home control index method, which will be running the uh, default one. This one now, if you are running the application, it displays this page. What you are writing written in this page, it will be written. Okay, first you have to understand this stuff. Okay, now what I'm going to do, see, you can uh, change the route and everything here. Go to the app start, the route config, you can set anything else. The default, the default one will be the home controller. So you can set whatever controller name over here. This is home controller index action method. You can set any controller here. Okay, right. Let's do the same, uh, same, uh, we will do it as home controller, the same, uh, same thing. Okay, no problem, right. So after that, what I did here is, if you have not installed the bootstrap all the plugins, you have to install. Go to here, manage it, uh, this one package, you have to install that. You have to select bootstrap, you have to install jQuery, you have to install. You just, I already installed them, that's why it, it will be showing here. Bootstrap, you can get it here, you can install it. The same thing, jQuery, jQuery plugin also. You have to install them, this both necessary to in order to do the program. I already, they are here. Okay, so the script, all the things are there. I already downloaded it. That's one. That's why it's coming uh, defaultly. Okay, in your system, it's not there. Okay, the bootstrap and all. Here, contents here, you can see the bootstrap and all. Right. Now, what I'm going to do is, after that, after done all the stuff, this thing we no need that we get rid of these lines. Only the index file is there. Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, I need this one controller. I'll be explain it. Just copy this one, this line, paste it over here. I'll be explaining, don't worry about that. Don't worry, if I run it, it is take too much of time to complete the project. That's why I have run it here like this. Okay. Now I'll be explaining it. This is a bank entity. What is the entity you are creating here? First, you have to implement the entities and create the object. Okay, bank entity. What is the entity you have created over here? Now, it's inside the model. Entity should be bank entities. So, not bank entities. The bank entities should be created. That's the thing you have to do. The bank entities should be created as bank entities, right? It shows something like this. It is. It, it asks to import the package. Okay. This it is reside on the models pack, uh, folder. So that it it, it asks to implement the uh, path using uh, account balance model. If you implement that, the error go away. Right, perfect. Now what I'm going to do is, what happens is first you have to, this, this is the entities, the, our databases reside on these entities. We have created the object DC. Here, HTTP post, it will be posting. So I have created the public JSON result get ID variable string I have passed one argument. Okay, so we'll be discuss about after done the model. Okay, so first after that, what I did here is, I'm going to go to the chart layout. Layout, I'm going to change it a little bit as like this. Uh, don't worry about all the source code I'll be provided. Don't think about that. Is it? It's it not difficult. Okay. It you take it easy. It's very simple. .NET architecture. Right. So I am to. Remove the stuff layout shared layout. Shared layout mean this is the layout file. This single layout file we have to call this the files. So all the our CSS bundle, all the things are there. Okay, I'll be sharing with you. Don't worry about that. Inside here, bootstrap, all the plugins are there. Here's the render body. Render body we will be working as a body, body of the content of the home. Okay, this render body is working. Okay, this is the same thing like a laravel like this. Okay, render body. Okay, render body. Here I'm going to index.css here. This is the render body part. We have to set it here. Uh, the same thing like this. You have to get it. Get it uh, this one. I'll be explained. Don't worry. Yeah. 
it takes control 8 select all it did it remove the control with paste this line sorry not this where's the line you should copy it copy it paste all right perfect we done it okay now let's extend the stuff okay first what i did here is first we have to load the models after that we have to make the controller okay controller is this when the controller is calling what happens is it goes to the it the controller will be called the index action method it will be return view me view the home controller okay it's home controller home controller view okay so after that what i did here is this is the home controller when you visit this page we have a nice user interface this is a user interface it consists of one uh text box uh, now three text box it comes of three text box okay so when the, the the first text box will be will be the account number when the user enter the uh their account number they they want to display their relevant balance so balance and account number holder name okay so what happen is we have to write a jquery in order to do the things we have to using jquery when you write in jquery you have to write this simply one listen script render you have write your implement the model bundle and script this you inside the script you have to write the code you have to pass this all the script text this all the uh, inside this folder this folder uh script folder if you install the i i already show how to install them right click manage new package you just go to go and search a jquery it will be there the library will be installed the folder is automatically created you will be implement this language okay then only you will be able to access the ajax and all right okay these are things we have to do it right after that, what i did here is i have done the script you have to start the script we have to create the function called get product code okay so this get product code we have to get account you get account code you have to write get, get account account code right get account code First, this is the name of the text box. ID is the name. The name. Okay. First, you have to empty. Empty the key up. Key up means when you when you type the uh, account number, automatically without click the clicking the uh, button, the relevant information will be display on the next text boxes. Okay. Without clicking any event. So we have to. They have in the event called key up event. Okay, this is a very must, right? After that, first you have to set the variable account. This is the account number text box we have to equal into this queue, right? After that, we have to create the length. If the, if if you are not type anything else, it show the error. Uh, enter the account number. Okay. After that, if you enter the account number on that particular text field, this text box enter the text account number. What happen is we we start the ajax part. This ajax part. It's a post request. URL will be. It goes to the home controller. Where's the home controller? This is a home controller. Get ID. There will be the action method called get ID. This is a get ID. It goes there. Get ID. This is the query string. We are passing the query string along with the ID. What's the ID? What's the ID? You are enter on the particular text field. Okay. This ID. It is passing to this ID. Okay, it goes to this side. If you enter a zero zero one, it passing to here. It goes to the query string. It goes to query string, and data will be goes to the JSON format. Okay, it's coming from the JSON format. After that, if the ID is you are enter success, it goes to the home controller. Home controller here. It get the ID here. Okay, this this is the uh, this is the controller here. I'll be explaining. Home controller get ID method. This ID, what ID you are typing here, it's getting here. It Receive the ID, and here is copy. I will create the variable is to DC me. This is the database object DC. In the database we have a tables accounts table. It's the accounts table. It's the accounts table where where a I create the variable a. This is the variable lambda expression. Okay, a dot. We have to check where scores. If the ID is match or not. This is this ID is coming from where? This is database column ID. The database column. A C C C M M. So your D C D C means this this is object your equal to A A dot account number. The what is the account number you are typing? It will be checking if uh, this account number is correct or not. It is checking if there is any account account number exists. If the 
uh, any account account number exists in the database table okay what the account number they are receiving here it will be checking whether the the same account number exists in our database table or not okay if it is exist what happens is it return to the json format and pass in the data okay this is the method we are using allocate okay that's the thing we have to do if it is returning to the view here to get the result and passing to the relevant text field but the text field is passing account number text field and balance text field that show the output that is the thing it will be doing okay this is the thing we have to do data dot acc this is the same name of this matching with the name is the entity name okay this name same name acc name and balance the same database name database uh, database uh, name this is the, your form what the form you are the, the, the that record where, where I, it should be passing your input fields okay right now let's check whether it's working fine or not okay it's first time it will load it after that if you are uh, running two or three times it will be okay the first time only it's getting okay load okay it's working successfully i hope you guys you understood the things well yeah the bank balance checking this if you are if you have a if you want to style more you can you will be able to here you can the caption you have to do the h1 tag the h2 tag okay you can use it like this it will be it will be uh, increase the size of the font okay you can style it you can write your own css CSS style and you will be styling the form and all here. Okay, simple stuff. I hope you guys will understand the thing. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. Thank you for watching.